Yeah. Hey, we're here today with Andrew from Kershaw and, of course, ZT. And we're going to talk about their new products for 2021. What do you think, Andrew? You got some uh, cool knives. You sent me some. Yeah. And so at least we get to talk about six, seven, eight different knives. And then ones that I don't have in hand, we can talk about as well. You probably have on your desk. So that'd be great as well. So what do you want to do? You want to lead me into whichever one you want to start with. Let's start with the Kershaw first. Sounds good. And then we'll end up with the ZT line. And that way I can get my hypercritical stuff out of the way. Let's do that. <laughs> so yeah, dude, that which one great. do you want to start with? You know what? Let's do this. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can be critical about this one, Lee, but just, you know, keep the kid gloves on. This is probably my favorite design uh, that I've worked on this year. So I might cry a little bit, um, but uh, what do you, what do you think about it? Let's start with your, give me your take on this. Well, if you put enough vodka, it's a highball. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I like the highball to tell you the truth. Uh, IKBS D2, great, simple design. Okay. And it's not a flipper. And another big thing that I like about it is that it's not a half and half. In other words, the front and the back look the same. Nice little blue accents on the back and the pivot. I like that. Uh, but this one is crazy because it's it's got a fairly light detent. Now, that's not a bad thing on this knife, is it? Because you can take your middle finger from the back here in that little fuller there and just kick it open. My man. It's, it's easy and it drops easy. No, you're right. The highball. Uh, no, I wasn't going to give you, <laughs> give you a hard time on that. That, that is more like what I like from Kershaw. Uh, I can skip the speed safe, you know, really yeah, yeah. in most models and uh, going from eight CR to D two is great. Uh, another thing, of course, that I think would be good is to look into Sandvik type steels, which are a true stainless. Um, I know HCR is, D2 is considered a semi stainless. So people who live in high humidity, uh, their knife gets exposed to a lot of water. They got to take a little bit more care of D2. Mm -hmm. So- But you live like in Arizona. Sport. Yeah, so, hey, no problem over here. No problem, except guess what? This knife is not staying here. That's you're true. gonna repo it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't get to keep it. So what the hell? Well, you know, we just want people to know that we're not paying you off to do videos for us. That's yeah. The yeah. Oh, oh. That's why. You're that's cheap. why. Yeah. I didn't cash a check yet. That's right. Uh, that's so, right. <laughs> yeah, I can get you. I can get you. Thanks a lot, buddy. Um. My wife says, oh, go ahead, pay off, pay off. Uh -huh. So, yeah, this, I like this. It's a good size. What What is that? Three and a half, eight Let's inches see. overall? Yeah, we got 3.3 .3 inches and three eight point eight okay. ounces. So just under, it's okay. just over three yeah. and a quarter. That's another thing. I'm really surprised how light it is being a solid steel frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels really good in hand. I mean, um, it. It feels solid and it really is deceptive because to me, it feels more than 3.8, but I, I weighed it up. You're right. Um, but, you know, because it's, it's compact and yeah, it feels so solid. You think, I mean, it's got that weighty feeling in hand, but it's not. Uh, so yes, this one. Yeah, absolutely. The highballs a winner. Yes. That's for oh, sure. Thanks, dude. I'll, uh, I'll send you the check in the mail. Uh, your wife will be happy about that. Um, hey, let's talk about, I don't know if you have this one on your end or not, but one of the other ones we have is called the End Game. So this one is another import that we've got. Uh, let me see. Maybe I could find one. Yes, uh, this is another one, and this is number two of the winning crew, right? What do you like about it? First of all, not speed safe. It is not. Second of all, if you look at the front, 
and you look at the back, they carried the copper from the front to the back. That's right. So, I mean, they've, they balanced the design here. Uh, they have this little bit of, this is like GFN or something mm -hmm. like that. You put it on the front, yep. but, um, and it's ambidextrous, right. It and left hand capable deep carry. It's not very heavy. It's a flipper. Uh, and it drops really nice. So tell you the truth, buddy. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good one. And I like the overall design, don't you? Oh, dude. Yeah, I love it. I'm glad you like it too. One thing on that though, those, uh, they're not copper actually. They're, it's steel with a PVD, a bronze PVD coating. Yeah. On there. Yeah. I noted yeah. that on my thing. Uh, I, you know, all these things here, I, I took off your site and then, uh, also circled a lot of the information here about, you know, coatings and that and you know people go to uh kershaw and you can see all the details on all these models new for 2021 and yeah uh i like that I, that and a highball yes solid i'm really Absolutely. glad you like them i i love those i love both of those can you hold yours up a little closer to the camera i've just got a prototype on my end but can you do like a little pan from stem to stern on that one on the on the end yeah, on the front okay, here you go yeah i love that we got those two screws in the front piece there to also be that yeah. bronze pvd so it's like just one one section that's a good now, uh will that flip to the back because that's a milled in area there so yeah. when you pull this pocket clip to go left you leave that void mm -hmm. i think you bring this around and put it in there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that oh, works. Now those, uh, I think if you do that, those stripes are going to be on the inside. No, so you may not see no. the stripes, but it should flip around. You should be able to okay, read Okay, you're right. Back. Okay. You know what? You're right. Okay. Um, but I haven't tried to do that. But it does work but, to flip the clip, though. I've That was part of the design, yeah. and I tested that. So that does work for sure. But, yeah, I mean, the blade design is nice and useful. A little bit of like a modified sheep's foot, maybe. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And and fairly light in the hand. It's not a huge knife either, but no. it's not very heavy either. So but sim similar to the highball, I really appreciate it. I heard somebody talk about this year, like the fidget factor. And I feel like both of those knives with the KVT really work well for just, just playing with they it. They do. You know? um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. The KVT. Speaking of uh, the fidget factor, did you have one of these on your desk too? Jens Anzo design. That's right. This is a Jens Anzo design. It is the Kershaw capsule. Uh, it's mm -hmm. pretty small. And we've got, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It's a manual out the front. Um, and man, it is, this is one that is, is also just super, super fun to play with. Um, and it's just a fun, a fun, different, different type of knife, you know? If you got a box cutter at home, same thing. I mean, uh, yeah exacto knife type thing uh with the slide it just slides out and right back in so it'd be interesting to see if you guys w would uh, maybe do some different blades like yeah. if somebody wanted a drop point or a a box cutter type of design that they could do that and they could change out the blade couldn't they? I haven't tried to disassemble it because it's your knife, but <laughs> that would be, I uh, mean, obviously that blade will come out, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you take it apart, it'll, it'll come apart for sure. Um, yeah. You know, I don't you know, can, obviously yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend on, on the air. I would not recommend taking uh, your knife apart. Uh, cause I think that void the warranty, <laughs> I'm not sure. Void the warranty. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think this one has been kind of a surprise um, just in that it's been really well received um, in a lot of the a lot of the videos and just online stuff that we've done. Uh, it's been really well received. So I, I would bet that there will probably be some more knives kind of in this vein coming coming down the pipe here in the future. Um, yeah, it's real practical, real discreet uh, carry and a deep carry pocket clip obviously cannot reverse that because you'd interfere yep. with this track but yep. uh gfn uh i'd say maybe the biggest downside is the fact that it's 8cr13 
Sure. It'd yeah. Be it's nice not, if uh, it was D2 or, or Sandvik or something like that. Right. It's definitely not, not one of your, your high end ones, but it does make it a little bit more affordable. And 8CR is still really oh, good. Yeah. It's going to be really easy to resharpen. Um, yeah. 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 So we got a, we got the slider button on here is an aluminum that's been anodized blue. And then we've got a glass filled nylon kind of like, I guess it's not really a backspacer because it wraps all the way around. But you got your yeah. little la lanyard hole in there as well. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this camera thing. You know, you think after a year of Zoom, I'd be pretty good at doing doing this type of video. But uh, here we are. So it's my first one. So wow. Well, I am That's honored it for me. Honored to be yeah, on your, your my first, first Zoom video. My wife does Zoom with family, but not, not you. Me. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, welcome to 2021, Lee. I'm glad you're I'm glad you're here with us. I do FaceTime a lot, but yeah, that's with same. my buddy in Sweden and stuff. So nice. Uh, that's a different deal. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. It, this is cool. The capsule. In fact, I already got a friend in Sweden that definitely wants one of these. Yes. So they're not out yet. So or I I don't see that they're released, right? Yet. Yeah. Uh, no, the I don't think retailers. No. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Um, so yeah. when they get out, I'll get him one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. They're, they're pretty sweet. And again, they're designed by a Danish guy. So he should really like that if he's in Sweden. Um, cool. Uh, let's uh, talk about the, the bracket real quick. Ah, uh, yes. I know. I know exactly what you're about to say. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and give it to me, Lee. Uh, <laughs> what's going on in the back? Party in the front. Look at this nice design here and all this. G10, all that. And you got the gulag prisoners in the back doing all <laughs> okay. the work. This is tough. This is tough. This is a violation <laughs> of human rights here. Oh, oh my God. deep carry pocket clip. <laughs> but you can flip it to the other side. And of course, it's got the world famous speed safe. Bam, so, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah speed safe yeah i mean i like i like cleavers okay yeah, so for sure yeah i like cleavers i think they're fun um this with kvt and uh maybe a liner lock really to tell you the truth uh would have been great for me because this is just yeah it's a nice design actually i like it it apparently it's an in-house design so it is an in-house yeah. design for sure. And how it looks all the way around. So right and left hand, yep. uh, like you can do on the high ball, the end game. You just can't do it on the capsule, but you can do it on the bracket. So that's nice because there are a lot of left-handed guys that are saying, how come we get forgotten? And they shouldn't. Yeah. So not forgotten at Kershaw. That's for sure. Uh, one of our some of my best friends are left-handed, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to look out for them too. Um, you got to look out for them. A couple of things, yeah. You mentioned steel frame lock on the back, and then we have yeah. a steel liner under a glass-filled nylon front scale. You got that yeah. steel inlay over there. Really happy with how that turned out. Um, and then also one thing I really like about this is that uh, I, there's some jimping up here on the front, so that if you're kind of choking up on it to do some finer cutting work. Um, that's going to give you give you some purchase up there but yeah that's the yeah. bracket because of the big huge choil here um some people don't like big choils others do i i, I kind of like it as long as i get adequate cutting length still yeah remaining i don't mind this because yes you can get really up there and get yeah. more control for certain cutting tasks so yeah it's good sweet bracket yeah i know it's and i think it's eight cr too it's not uh not your sandvik stuff yeah but, it, uh, yeah. You know. but it'll be on sale for 32 dollars no it's 15 is it coming out at 16 dollars let me check i wrote all this down i don't i'm not one of the sales i'm just guys. kidding I'm just it's kidding. not gonna be 16 it'll be a little bit more <laughs> yeah. than that uh yeah. msrp on I'm that 65 kidding. but it'll be yeah. it'll, it'll be a little different yeah, yeah map okay. will be lower than that let's talk about the collateral tell me uh now this one you got same same deal front and back. It is speed safe, but the design. Tell me what you think about that. I like the design. I like the design, um, and it does have speed safe. 
which is something, you know, okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Uh, I wish they would have taken a little bit of this carbon fiber and put it and on put the back. It right here, just, just for balance. And if they would have done that, I would like it even more. Right, right, the right. way it is, I, I like the I like the design. Whoever did the design, I think did a good job. No, I agree. Yeah, that's a yeah, not one of mine, but it's a great in-house design. Let me tell you a little bit more about this too. Check out this flipper on here. I mean, this is honestly one of the it's a little understated, but it's one of my favorite things about this design. I mean, it barely sticks up at all, but when you put your finger yeah. on there, that thing still flips right open. Um, and what's great and, is when it's in the open yeah. position, it's not yeah. in your way at all which yeah. really keeps the sleek really so you get a good cutting design. right there i mean you're not you're not yeah. like this with the right. clipper tab you know so you this is good uh, i i noticed the way this disappears into the bolster uh lockup is pretty strong as well yeah. and it's centered uh yes i like you know, one thing that drives me crazy is flipper tabs that are just like a sail. Oh, I yeah. Mean, you don't like, need that. Why? 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 I mean, if, if the knife is made correctly, you don't need a big, huge flipper tab. And this doesn't require it either. Even if this was with KVT, I think it would flip just fine with that small or muted of a tab, which yeah. is not bad. All right. Now but is that... That's a G10, right? Coming across here. No, this is this is glass filled nylon, GFN. Oh, uh, GFN. Okay, there. well, but okay, okay. Let me break your brain for a second, Lee. So you said if this has KVT, well, this actually does have KVT and speed safe. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you it's, know what? I may have noticed that on the stats, but I've forgotten. Dude, in the it's last all good. Couple of days. So yeah, I mean that's yeah, definitely. Okay. That's kind of a first for us. And it's actually really fun. A lot of the, a lot of these that I've played with, I mean, they, they open a lot faster because they've got that, that KVT and the speed yeah. safe there. Um, yeah. So that's something kind of neat. Oh, does that mean, does that mean you could disable the speed safe and, uh, and it flip great? You know, I've that noticed great that, question, Lee. that was know. years ago that people were talking about disabling the KVT or whatever assisted opening on various and sundry different knives not necessarily yeah. just kershaw and i you know i heard both ways it worked well or it did not work well do not do it so yeah. i'm sure kershaw would prefer no i mean yeah obviously we would prefer no i would say just you know proceed at your own risk and know that you'll probably void your warranty if you do that but i mean if it works that's a free country if it breaks you can buy another one so uh yeah yeah. And I've, I've gotten a spring from your service department. Oh yeah. 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 I love Because I had a spring that got bent out of shape or whatever mm. over time. It was for, for sure. years, years of use. And, you know, I saw a video on YouTube that showed you how to open it up and replace the spring. So I didn't have to send the knife in to do that. Uh, so that was cool. I've even seen, um, re kind of stretch the spring and give it more bring it back to being mm. as aggressive as it was when it was new and do that as well so interesting but yeah, yeah. i mean the spring yeah. lasts for a long long time so they do no problem there they do yeah yeah um so i got one more speed safe to look at with you and then it's all kvt after that you down yeah and it's one i probably don't have then this is the this is the uh, the Kershaw Cannonball. Now, and it wow. is speed safe, but I think there's a lot of things you would actually really like about this. One, it's a, as you say, it's a big dog kind of knife. Um, it's a pretty good, pretty fills my hand very well. Uh, and it's really similar front to back. We got steel, great PVD frame lock on the back mm -hmm. and the same on the front. Now we've got a different, we got a black wash kind of inlay up here on the front that is is not mirrored on the back but that adds some really cool detail. We've actually, we've got a black washed um, D2 blade on the front. And that is on that. I want to say it's probably about just over three inches, about three and a quarter, somewhere in there. Um, cool. And so that opens the speed safe too. deep carry pocket clip works front and back. Now, have you, uh, have you seen these two yet? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you what sent you me the big dog. Cause that's what I requested. I, 
yeah. requested the big dog. You don't and want so the, this. You don't want the little four and a half inch blade. So small. Now, what what was the one you just got done with? That was the, the uh, cannonball. I, yeah, the cannonball. That actually wasn't on your list. I just threw it in for a good measure. I know, but the cannonball's interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check that out because that to me looks. What kind of a design does that look like to you? What does that resemble to you? Uh, that resembles a ZT model to me, hmm. but I'm trying to call it up. I mean, not really so much like the 308, possibly. Maybe, yeah. I mean, there's still like in I that mean, look size at the blade. Though. Look at the blade. You got side by side. So there's definitely some similarities in there. It for, looks like for... damn near the same blade. Uh, and handle design. So basically, it's a 308 in a Kershaw with speed safe, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, does that does that have KVT as well? No, no, that's just speed safe. But it's going to be probably a heavy user, so I think so. Going without the bearings and having washers may be preferable in that case. Yeah. I mean, bearings aren't the end all for everything. Sure, sure. Yeah. I like them so, though. I'm a big fan of big fan of ball bearing. But yeah, I'll have to check that out. I don't know why I didn't request that. That yeah, all good, dude. Okay. I'm glad I threw it in. But yeah, let's talk yeah. a little bit about the Strata XL. Whew. Baby, what a hunk of crazy this is, right? <laughs> right. And that Spanish kind of influence. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here, uh, I like this kind of like an art deco insert on here it's yeah really crazy but here's the thing on the back if they would have done the same thing oh that same pattern yeah on the back and maybe even covered the pivot with that you can always put a small screw that you can undo and reveal mm, the pivot mm -hmm. and then go from there but that would have been nice had they used this from the front, like you're showing, yeah, yeah. on the back. I would have liked it. Now, the fact that at least they did, there this is, is probably there. P PVD coated, right? This uh, actually is an anodized aluminum. Okay. Um, on the front and the back is nice. Now, me personally, yeah, I really have liked this on both sides. Yeah, yeah, I know you would. But, you know, that's just me. Um, For sure super deep carry yeah. pocket clip i mean super deep but you can't reverse it no nope it's not reversible no. uh no. and we got some anodized aluminum uh two spacers in there as well that match the uh match the inlays that we've got on the front and oh the back. yeah so that gives it some pop uh ooh. and this is d2 right it is yeah. for sure d2 for sure. kvt no speed safe. No nope. uh, flips, drops. Uh, it's slender in the hand. It is. And uh, depend anybody, any size hands will fit on this right here. This is monster knife. Okay. And of course, you make it in a smaller size. We but do. I mean, is, small is yeah. still four and a half inch blade. So that's relative, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is relative. Yeah. But I mean, really this doesn't feel that heavy no no and it really doesn't. i forgot what the stats were on this as far as the weight goes it yeah, yeah. really feels light uh and I've got 5.8 5.8 5 ounces is what i got really it doesn't yeah it, that's what it says had to use my cheaters but yeah um mm, it doesn't feel that heavy I guess because it's spread out over a mile and a half. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I it don't doesn't know. feel that heavy. But yeah. no, it doesn't. Um, it's interesting. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I have druthers about this. Uh, mm -hmm. So really, you know, I'd say the high ball and the end game are my big ones. And then the collateral, cool. That those are the three. Nice. And I'm not going to fault the collateral that much because – uh yeah they didn't do the little in insert on the back to match but other than that it's it's a smooth operator it's a, it's a nice looking design for sure yeah it's a nice looking design so that's number three uh definitely 
the high ball. I, I just that's yeah, it's probably your favorite too, right? You were saying yeah, it is, and it's it not is. a flipper. It's not a flipper, but it's a real traditional look, isn't it? Oh yeah, I. You could find that blade on like a slip joint knife somewhere, or like a kind of a buck knife type lock back. Yeah, knife it's a clip, a clip point style blade. Yeah, I sure. mean, so it's yeah, and the fact that you didn't put thumb studs, flipper tab, but it's still, oh man, it's just so easy. That's addictive. That's addictive. It's so, so fun. that and yeah. And the end game is another one just like that. And then you have a flipper. So it'll hit you in the thumb right there. Drop it just like that. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Awesome. But the Strata XL, this is, this is fun. Yeah, this is great. You know what I love about this one uh, is so big, but it fits in my jean pockets really well. And when you're carrying it, you've got this tiny little pocket clip. So it looks like you're carrying a really small knife and then you pull this out and it's like a 5.4 inch blade, you know, uh, that's pretty fun. It's, it's so deep carry that it disappears in your pocket. You're right. You're amazed at how, how much knife you can put in your pocket. I mean, cold steel has been doing big pocket swords forever. Right. Yeah. And people carry them. I do. And yeah. so, yes, uh, you can do this. And this is kind of a fun thing for Kershaw to do to change thing up and get people's attention. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No, I, I love it. Um, and really, there's a lot of uses for a big, long blade like this. Hmm, yeah. I mean, there's times when a 3.2 inch or 3.3 inch blade is not going to get through the material you need to get through. And so there are those yeah. times yeah. that 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 really comes in handy. I mean, you get you a big fat grapefruit. There you go. Right. That's true. Right there. This one. Nope. Nope. Not even an apple. Probably. Yeah. It'll take a little bit longer. This one, it'll get after it. Watermelon. Right. Cantaloupe. No problem. You can't. You got to get married. You can't elope. Oh, gosh. Nice. Bam. Wow. I feel like we should Crushed end on that it. note. Crushed it. <laughs> Crushed it. Um, all right. How about some Kershaw USA? You got time for Blackwash Lucha? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping you would send that, and I think I requested it, but you held out on me. Mm, sorry, sorry, Lee. Uh, yeah, so this is the same as the original Lucha. Flips really well. Uh, it's got those KVT washers up here, but we got a Blackwash finish on that blade you got that 14 c 28 in steel on there made in the usa in our toilet and factory yeah this thing is awesome i love it and i love we still got that latch on the back so that if you if you're flipping it and you catch here it's crowned on the top so that you won't get uh, you won't get stuck on there um yeah this thing is awesome yeah and uh i've got a buddy that loves uh, balisong type knives, and he's got the Lucia, but you know he got the titanium scales for it. Oh, titanium nice. makes, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you can pimp those out. You can. There's there's aftermarket stuff too. I didn't know there was that big a following, but they are some people out there liking that Lucia. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's so expensive when you get some other name brand. For it's sure. like D two blade. And it's three hundred and fifty dollars or something, nope. and you're going, I don't get this. Uh, so I think yes, uh, that's great. I'm not a you know a bally kind of guy, but you know what? I wouldn't mind having one in my at my disposal. And I think the Lucha. Uh, I'm not a big black wash person either, but I I think it was nice to be able to offer that as a yeah. as, as a change up but I'd probably get the original one. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. I just think it's nice. And I know I'm going to cut three or four of my fingers off, uh, messing <laughs> with it. but what's this? Yeah. What's left? <laughs> so yeah, I know, but I've got buddies that know how to do all that stuff. Yeah. I got to just practice, get one of those dummy knives, you know? And yeah. Just yeah. Get a good trainer. Get a yeah. good trainer. Yeah. Heck yeah. But yeah, that's, that's cool. I think that's way cool. I'm, I'm glad you guys did that. No, oh, dude, me too. It's it's done really well. Um, yeah, sweet. Are you ready to talk ZT? Oh, all right. Hook me up. Why don't you start us off? What do you want to? 
Well, let's talk about the 762. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at that. Uh, this is an interesting knife. Now, uh, I know you guys did the little 22. I, I wasn't feeling it. I know you did a slip joint. Some people really like that. I wasn't that a Jens design as well. Yeah, it was a Jens answer design. But, oh, Jens, not Jens. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, this one is interesting to me. This is not my traditional idea of ZT because ZT to me is overbuilt, like hinderer style and or Ken Onion, that kind of stuff style, like in the O300 or the O301, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the 452 and then the 456 or Shurgorov, sure, sure, yeah. I think. Uh, no, um, sure off, but yeah, we do a lot. Yeah. Of, there were some Sinkovich designs in there too. Oh, Sinkovich. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sinkovich. So, or Sinkovich, however that goes. This one is a real departure, I think, although it's not a small knife. It's super light. Very. This is super lightweight. There's your standoffs in there. And I guess I should have pointed my lights down a little better to, for better vision there. But uh, and blue subframe lock, okay. Uh, interesting blade shape. A lot of belly down in here. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, baby. Oh, that was one thing that kind of got me. How is your knife working when you go to disengage? and just drop it. It won't drop. I can't get it to get past this. See here? Yeah, yeah. So one thing that makes this knife really stand out, a really so cool So you do feature. it like this, it just drops. Now see, this has this something. This one does not. Right, right. There's a, I think there's a reason oh, for that. So this adjustable. One, this one has the tune detent system, right? Yeah. Um, okay. So like on your 308, what that, the detent that works on that is that the lock bar has the detent ball that goes into a detent hole on the back of the blade. So on this one, we still have on that lock bar, there's still a ball bearing there, but there's another mm -hmm. ball bearing in the front here, kind of like what we did on the, the 0230, that slip joint. And there's a detent okay. hole on the front of the blade. So basically what that means is that if your fingers are on this lock bar, it, you're going to have less trouble opening the knife. You know, if you okay. sure you have a lot of a lot of nice frame oh. locks, and a lot of times when you get your fifth your thumb up on that on that lock Absolutely. bar, it won't open. You know what I'm talking about? So this really yes. addresses that well, and is a cool solution to that to that problem. So it's not adjustable per se. I it's don't think what so, you no. call tuned. In other words, uh, it it's here and here, so it's. It's just done in a different fashion than traditional yeah. uh, detents. Okay. Yep. I like the colors. I like the carbon fiber. I like the fact that it's super lightweight and also for left-handers. That's right. Works you on can the flip front. it. And but the that back. thing weighs nothing. What does that thing weigh? That weighs your... 762 is 2.9 ounces. Yeah, I was going to say 2.8. That is, it weighs nothing. Yeah, it's so light, but it feels like sometimes when stuff is too light, it feels like cheap. This does not. The carbon fiber feel on those handles is amazing. No, it's solid. It's interesting with the cutouts here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice? So we got, so everything that you see on this that's blue is an anodized titanium, whether that's uh -huh. the pocket clip or those little standoff tube spacers or the, uh, the liner in here. All that's titanium. We got 20 CV blade on here. Um, like most CTs, 20 CV, uh, opens on those ball bearing washers. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful knife. Pretty slender blade stock on there. If that's three oh, millimeters, yeah. uh, that's all it is. I bet it's not even that. I was going to grab my caliper to see, but I don't even think it's three. That's a 0.11 at, yeah, it is. It's three millimeter. Okay. Three millimeter blade stock, but yeah, so it's super light. Wow, uh, <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. Just had to kick it a little bit, kind of yeah. give it a little, yeah. But I mean, 
the blade drops nicely considering uh, how light it is. Yeah. 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 And, oh, no, I, and, I love it. Yeah. I, I mean, I think this is one I'd have to warm up to because I'm used to, I mean, the 456 is a little chunky, heavy. Yeah. Uh, 452 is a little bit more elegant, mm -hmm. I guess. But then stuff like this is what, you know, kind of always caught my fancy in the past. Right. So maybe I'm just a relic from days of yore. Nah, dude, I don't yeah. think so. But I feel like this is one that you probably would warm up to a little bit. Tell me, what do you think about that subframe lock? Because obviously it's a little different front and back, but there's definitely like you can tell that they go together, you know? Yeah, yeah, they do. I mean, and... Uh, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. How they, uh, okay. So they got it mounted back in here, mm -hmm. uh, you know, underneath. Yeah. So for, uh, yeah. And, and of course, you know, there's like the natrix and things like that, that are, uh, similar. Mm -hmm. That's right. With the in that regard. Line. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't mind. And they pop the blue on the back. They do. On the front. So, no, I think it, I think it's balanced. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think yeah. it's balanced. I think it's good. Uh, yeah, looks Sweet. like uh, you can put your Torx wrench in the front or the back. Yep. Uh, you can move the pocket clip. There'll probably be some deep carry on the aftermarket I'm later sure. for yeah, that, yeah. I'll bet. So that'll be nice because that thing weighs nothing. No, yeah, it but does. But yet, it's not small. No. No, it's a good size. It's a good size blade on there, but it's a good thin blade too, which I feel like is really nice for a lot of that everyday carry kind of stuff, you know, which it's really three fits and this. A, it's three and a half to the most, to the closest yeah. place on the bolster. So it's really over three and a half. It's almost three and three quarter cutting edge and eight inches overall length. So that's a long cutting edge there. Yeah, it's solid. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, you know, if you're going to compare it to a 308, I mean, this is not necessarily the one that you're going to take out of the job site, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. So I think the the blade stock is really fitting to, to what this knife is intended for. I think this is, yeah, a little bit more classy carry. Absolutely. Yet, uh, it's got plenty of blade and good materials. I mean, no question. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah now, it's just a matter of, uh price what is this thing gonna map for i right. don't know yet so. yeah the yeah msrp's i think 400 on it so it's it's definitely a pricier one but if you look at this like all the machining time that's gone into the carbon fiber the titanium i mean if you look at this you got like carbon fiber titanium and steel there's like three layers in there all that's kind of fit in there we got that subframe lock on the back a lot of titanium a lot of machine carbon fiber and 20 cv blade steel so it's definitely a premium product no yeah. questions there. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. Now, do you mind? Can I show you talk a little bit about this one? Uh, yes. Okay. Sweet. I'm really interested to hear your take on this. You know, a lot of these ZTs, I know that you're a big fan of that, like front and back looking the same. And a lot of these are kind of breaking that up, but they don't. Um, but it's also different than that typical different than like the bracket, right? Where it's totally different on the front and the back. Um, mm -hmm. So on this one, we got. We got 20 CV blade steel, uh, opens on KVT. Um, now, what's something different about this, we got carbon fiber and then we got steel liners on here. Now, the reason we did that is really we wanted something that would be structurally strong, but still really slim. The overall, like as far as like the pocket thickness of this is like is really, really thin. It's going to disappear in your pocket. Um, it's based off the old triple nine. I don't know if you're familiar with that ZT. Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, like. In a lot of ways, I like this better than the triple nine because one, I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a triple nine. And this is something this comes <laughs> in at like, I want to say MSRP on this is like two, 275. So for a yeah. ZT, it's like a pretty affordable ZT off of like a classic. I mean, I think a really iconic ZT um, design that I've always really enjoyed. And it's really carryable uh, just with like a three and a quarter inch blade. I mean, that's, I mean, that's right there. Everyday carry that just really looks like a concept car, you know? I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to like that. I mean, there's other people that didn't like the triple nine. They just thought it was too extreme. No, I liked it, except I want the triple nine because I want the longer blade. Okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah. if this ever, ever gets issued 
with that three and three quarter or four inch, mm. full four inch blade. I'm in, I'm in. And it'd definitely be a keeper. Three and a quarter, I, uh, I don't know. I'll have to put it in my hands and see how I feel. I'm sure, yeah, for easy carry and lightweight and, you know, disappearing in the pocket, all that. And pricing, okay. And what's the overall? Is it under eight? It's probably under eight, right? Uh, I actually, well, I don't have the specs on that. If it's three quarter inch blade, it's probably right around, right around there. Um, and it also comes in at like 2.9 ounces. Um, wow. Yeah. That's so super it's, light. It's really light. And I mean, I love, this is what, uh, what Jim was calling the flying bridge. So the stop pin yeah. is, is all, is just floating up there, right? In this. And that's why we went with yeah. the steel. Titanium apparently uh. will like flex a little bit when you get up there. Um, so those steel liners were really the ticket on this one to keep it as thin as we needed. Um, really unique, cool blade shape on there. Um, we've got also we've got that pocket clip that's going to work on the back as well as the front. It's a deep carry clip, really cool steel overlay here. I mean, this is, I, I really like this one. So yeah, tell me a little bit, what are your thoughts about the, the balance of that? There's still some steel and carbon fiber, but it's a little different than on the, on the front. No, I think it's fine. I mean, as long as those two materials kind of show up on both sides, no, it's, that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I'm going to check it out. I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, but yes, I would like to have a triple nine. I don't want to pay for a triple nine, not in the, <laughs> not in the secondary market. This <laughs> is insane. Yeah, you have I would have that. liked, I would have liked to got one when they dropped, sure. but they sold out like that. I bet they uh, did. But later, it'd be nice if ZT would go back and revisit that design in a bigger model. Just, mm. I, I think it would, you know, I mean, there's a lot of knife companies that'll throw things out in 500 different steels, different sure. blade materials. I mean, different uh, handle materials, make them bigger, make them smaller, do all this. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think that's a bad formula in, in many cases. Mm. And I think that'd be, that wouldn't be something that, zt should not consider i, I sure. think they ought to consider doing it yeah that'd be fun that would be really neat i love yeah you know, I make, love the make, make it small like this one <laughs> yeah <real small. laughs> nice like 5.4 inch blade yeah that'll oh, do it man oh man <laughs> all It'll right be a monster you you want to wrap up on the 308 oh yeah 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 Let's now do you know it. I was I was curious to hear your thoughts on this because last when we talked last year you said if you made they made it the same color on both sides you'd be in so I am I what am do you think? In. I'm in I'm in um, well first of all tell me on this uh, is this three and three quarter I think it is hold on let me pop it I've got uh, yeah three it's it's all of that even at the closest place on the bolster you swing it down and you got over three and three quarter inch cutting edge. And really to the end of that choil there, it's four inches. So it's a big dog. And I think it's nine inches overall length. So uh, yeah, real close. So it's a hoss. It it's is. a hoss. And it's got that tiger stripe on it. Like uh, I think the, the O 300 is that the one it was uh and then right. there was a 0301 but that was the onion strider design and it was assisted it was speed safe and it was s30v i think this is 20 cv this is kvt not assisted it's a big dog it's bad and um you know i don't mind the black because if you're gonna do this this is titanium. This is G10. Last year was tan. That's right. And then it, it was silver back here. And mm -hmm. I just, I'm, yeah, but this, yes, yes. I'm in for this because it's the same color on both sides. Uh, it looks like the exact same on both sides. I mean, this could have been titanium on the front, I guess. Uh, yeah. For yeah, all yeah. practical purposes, but still to the eye, it looks the same. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and we can flip it. Mm-hmm. And you flip the clip. Left also hand, the aftermarket um, clips. And yes, so it could go deep carry as well. Uh, but uh, it's a, uh, it just, the blade just, just falls up. I mean, when you let go of this, uh, that flipper tab 
it that detent ball ain't letting go real easy. Not real easy. You pulling that, whew, that is like a no fail detail, isn't it? It's good, man. I, I mean, I'm trying to fail it to keep it from completely opening. You wow. really have to charge that, up on that for sure. So that's a snappy, snappy detent. But it, it wheels out real smooth and it drops away. So this has got a lot of fidget factor. For sure. You know? Oh, yeah. Actually, and it's, it's just a brute. It's a freaking brute. Yeah. It's probably at least three and a half. Uh, let me kick it on here. That's four millimeters. Yeah. Four millimeter blade stock. So it's a hoss. It's yeah. a hoss. It's the, it's the same, like, like detail wise, it's the same construction, same knife as the three original 308, just some different specs on the, uh, just like materials and finishes. We got a black DLC coating on the titanium G10 on the black G10 on the front. Uh, it's actually a, um, it is a black oxide. Um, hang on. That's not right. Yeah. Black oxide, black wash coating um on the tiger stripe um so and it's 6.9 ounces so it's pretty yeah it's a pretty hefty knife um yeah but it's that great, don't scare me no nah, that don't scare variant. me yeah i mean this is interesting ha a half inch wrench yeah oh that's right thanks for reminding me yeah half Same inch wrench you just get a hold of these flats on here and that's just right. open it up yeah uh because you don't need a torx or a fancy screwdriver or anything. Yep. Just get you a little open end wrench, half inch, right there, and get yep. to it. Yeah, uh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's, it's of course cool. need that for these, but and yeah, lanyard hole, lanyard hole, open design, big chunky standoffs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they are some chunky monkeys in there. <laughs> um, yeah, they are. They remind me of like standoffs you'd see on a hinderer knife or sure. something. Yeah, they're beefy for sure. It's a burly workhorse ZT. Um, yeah, really stoked that we've that we've made that, and that we've got some different colors in there. You were talking about that a second ago, doing different variations and stuff, and that's kind of kind of some of the thought behind this one. Yeah, I think this makes sense to me, and I think there's a lot of people that like this stripe on the blade, yeah, and this non glare type finish here. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is a bad boy. This little opening here, I guess, helps weight relieve and adds a little bit of pizzazz to the design for sure yeah i for think sure. uh but it disengages hits you in the thumb and she's ready to go roll yep. right over the design flow is great uh blade to handle length is fine that's uh, just i mean and this contoured here oh yeah Feels uh so contoured good, titanium and g10 really the ergos on this are fine because it's so neutral here mm -hmm. okay your yep. first finger here the rest of it is neutral and reverse group is comfortable too uh there you go there you go that's the doll of the show right there i love it sweet that's man. gonna be that's gonna be in my collection right there because yes you know i only have a couple of zt's and they're going to be, you know, they're the like the pillars of what I consider ZT. Mm. And this is back to that. Yes. Good, good, good. Yeah. I'm glad we got something for you in the lineup there. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Oops. What if this falls out when I'm trying to pack the box and send it back to you? Uh, we'll find oh, you. <laughs> well, how did that bounce off the fly? I didn't see it. Yeah. Whatever. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'll, uh. Yeah, if you do that, I'll ship you a bunch of 22s uh, for your trouble. Ooh, oh, wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's insane. That's insane. Cool, man. Yeah, this is. I'm yeah, glad this will like beat. This will beat the 22s. It yeah, probably is, would. That's great. I love the drop. Good man. It's I'm a glad. Beast. Sweet. It's an, well, an official beast. That's a. Uh, that's all. all right. I got. You got anything else? No, no, I got hot coffee and that's about it. That's good. Is it but still no? Hot? I mean, oh yeah, it stays hot in this baby. Yeah. Nice, nice. For hours. But yeah, I mean, I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh uh, it's always nice to try and keep up on what ZT and Kershaw are doing. Uh, because 
I kind of specialize on my channel in budget, mm. you know, budget knives. So I'm not showing off the hand custom made $2,500 knives, 1500, yeah. even 500 is very unusual for me, but you know, you know, $20 to 200 is kind of my Bailey wick. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. What so you guys do is in that circle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's like definitely one of our goals is to have something for everybody. So if you were, if you had two knives on this table right now that you were going to recommend to your viewers to pick up, uh, which would be the two that you would, that you would go for? The highball XL right here, this and the end game for Kershaw. Those would yeah. be the two Sweet. and ZT 308 solid yeah, absolutely uh that is uh that's a brute that's a brute but you know i think there's gonna be a lot of people that are really gonna like the 762 right i do too yeah it's beautiful there's night. no name for it although i mean these are highball end game uh collateral <laughs> this guy's lonely he doesn't have a name uh, but that's interesting, isn't it? Because I don't think any of the ZT knives have a name. No, uh, no, they don't. I think it's been fun that, like, with some of the newer ZTs, they kind of follow along with calibers. So I feel like it's a little easier to keep track of the numbers, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, the 308, but, uh, definitely. Right. Um, but, yeah, no, you're right. That's just kind of the ZT way. I'm going to see if I can finger flick it against it. Yeah, oh, even, even against the blade here. There you That's go. That's not easy, but don't eat grandma's fried chicken first and try no. to do that. <laughs> no, don't. I but would not yeah. recommend that. Oh, yeah, my God. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when you know you're a knife enthusiast, when you can back finger flick <laughs> a knife with no hole in it. Oh, man. Yeah, I always, you know, try and figure out other ways to be able to open it. And Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'll just stay away from the flipper tab to hell with it and just <laughs> do something else. So, yeah, but give an, give a non-enthusiast a knife if you want to know if the flipper will, if it'll fail or not when it flips, because they're so tentative about pulling the flipper tab. They'll go, sure. uh, yep, just <laughs> enough to get it to go. But this one, boom, it's there. Yeah. So it's, it's no fail. That's, that's, that's snappy. That's cool. Good. I like it. I'm glad you do. Dude, Lee, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. It's great to see you again. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they'll have a shot show 2022. Huh? I hope so. Uh, yeah. This is tough, tough on a lot of people. This whole thing is tough on a lot of jobs. It's tough on our economy. So hopefully we can get back to doing stuff that we enjoy and, uh, having the, the trade shows and things like that, For especially sure. like Blade in Atlanta. Yeah. Hopefully that can come together. I, I, ho I hope so. I really Fingers do. crossed. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I really appreciate you taking the time to send these knives to me and give me the time to talk about this. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking with the marketing team about like, Hey, who do we want to like reach out to? And I was like, Oh, I definitely want to do a video with Lee. So I appreciate ah! the time, dude. Wow. That was nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. I got you. All right, man. Well, Hey, I hope you have a good one. I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew. I had a good time. Same dude. Catch you later. Okay. Peace. All right.